All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Uh, tonight's another, uh, another meeting. Uh, we've been doing this now since about 2004. Uh, so we try our best to sort of raise visibility for software security, which is our core principle here. But more importantly, organizations that help us sponsor or help us have a venue is really important because it's always hard to have a good place to get together in New York City. So you guys can shout it out. What's the drink? Come on. We have developers in the room, I hope. Parameters? Parameters. Say again? Parameters. Parameters, right? So you know, that's kind of how this all started, right? For everybody that's heard that mantra go on and on is kind of the conversation of SQL injection and beer. And we've sort of grown up since then, and we've continued to kind of be in the space. So a lot of us that I see friendly faces in the room is important. And as we know, the industry continues to rapidly change, right? A lot of folks here look at, you know, the opportunities that present themselves in the community to either get new jobs uh, or to advance their careers. Uh, and this is a cheat sheet that you might want to have available for those conversations. because It seems like there's a lot of uh, buzz in the space right now. Uh, and kind of by a show of hands, right? So I'd like to do a, a poll, right, from the Apple FBI thing, who sides with Apple on, on this conversation? Okay, hands down. Who sides with Department of Justice FBI? Two, three, four. <laughs> so it's a very interesting discussion, right? We had it outside, and this is exactly what the networking portion of our meetings are for, is to have those candidate discussions, right? Relative to San Bernardino, not having device management on the phone, right? Having the perp actually destroy the device that they used, right, before their crime. So you would probably guess, maybe, you know, we none of us know that perhaps information is on the perp device. It's not on the device that was used by San, uh, San Bernardino. Uh, but regardless, it's, a, it's an opportunity for us to have that discussion. And that's really what I love about OWASP, right? It's really about us as a community being part of the space, being part of software, being able to understand that, you know, it's based on economics and trust and being able to have that discussion sort of as authoritative people. Because the cavalry is not coming, right? We are the old guys in the room now. Right, we get to make the policy and get to get to make the statements and you know press wants to know what your opinions are and you know with RSA coming up next week I'm sure it'll be a hot topic so show of hands who's going out to RSA next week all right it's a few of us making the journey out to California which will be nicer than here with the rain and stuff last night uh, but certainly it's one of those conversations that we have to look at you know sort of how we can help uh, educate the people that are around us both in academia as well as in uh, our business side so tonight's agenda is pretty straightforward I'm Tom Brennan, if you don't know who I am. Uh, I'm one of the chapter leaders. I get a lot of help from people like Dawn Aiken and Israel Britsky and Tom Ryan, uh, uh, Bev Corvin, uh, uh, Robert. Uh, there's lots of folks in, in the team here that help out uh, and just basically picking up the flag when needed to say, hey, I'll, I'll, I got that, I'll help out. So if you'd like to be a chapter volunteer, because none of us are paid, we all do this out of like labor of love, help out, right? Let's just get involved. Ask Dawn how you can help out, and all of a sudden you, you get the badge of honor, right? You get the, ex the work of a volunteer to help make these meetings happen, which is always fun. Then we'll jump into Dan Cornell, who's traveled up here from Texas. Uh, Dan's a good friend and a longtime OWASP guy, so you know, I think you'll enjoy that talk. Uh, and then Andres is in, just got here from New Jersey that I heard had some good traffic coming in from Jersey, which I think you'll enjoy the forensics portion. So we do have a tight agenda. Uh, I do ask that if you want to have conversations with the people next to you, just please grab, a, you know, grab them outside and we'll grab a beer if it's not a talk you want to be a part of, just because the speakers, of course, it's a loud, it's a loud space. Keep in mind, the foundation's been around for a long time. We hope to have it be here for our kids uh, as a place in a playground that's safe to play in and be able to learn and educate and be a part of it. For many of us that came up in this space, there really was not a or OWASP-like organization early on that was networking-focused and software-focused, but OWASP does exist for now, you know, since 2001. Um, and we hope that it continues. Uh, but again, we are really focused on this sort of key component, right? Everyone's able to contribute and uh, be a part of the organization. So it's really important for us to kind of make that happen. So as I mentioned, our host for tonight, so a quick round of uh, applause for not only ThoughtWorks, but also for HP, uh, Proactive Risk, NetSpy, Talent Here, and Logarithm for helping us support tonight and keeping this community vibrant. So a quick round of applause for those guys. It's also really important to understand, you know, we have all the local supporters, organizations, people like UBS, New York Internet, Goldman Sachs, Soda Type, Bug Credit Sachs. Well, yeah, we're in New York, right? We have that luxury. We're not in Kansas, uh, where that there's a few, uh, you know, people out there trying to do good work that do fantastic efforts, and I like the guys in Kansas, but they don't have the mass we have. If you come to one of our Jersey meetings, it's probably about half the group, because, of course, it's Jersey, right? It's not New York City. But with 220 chapters around the world, if you happen to travel, it's good kind of to see what's going on in other areas, right? And be able to walk into those meetings. I have some guys here from LA tonight and some other folks, and be able to carry that back and say, hey, they do their meetings a little differently, right? Or they do their meetings with kind of, you know, hands-on work, whatever it may be, because that's kind of just getting together and having that discussion. 
OWASP as an organization, I always get that question, well, hey, I'm looking for X, or I'm looking for a company that does Y, or I'm looking to buy a service, or buy a product, right, like a Best Buy, or UPS, whatever. Uh, you know, who should we talk to? I always say the same answer. These are the people you want to talk to, right? These guys and these guys. These are the OWASP, sort of the community folks that have actually put their money where their mouth is. And it kind of grows every year, which is nice. So thanks to them to be a part of it. And of course, it's like a NASCAR slide. Um, but it's really about the people, right? It's really about the folks that are involved. Michael Coates is the, now the security guy over at Twitter. He was over at Mozilla for a while. And Michael's on our board. A bunch of other folks there. And of course, Waspy, if you haven't met him at our AppSec conference, Waspy is the OWASP mascot. Uh, we have a lot of fun with that. So from a tools perspective, most of the breakers in the room might recognize the names on the list here. But the 2014 results for the, uh, for the top 10 tools was like a survey, kind of like what FIDO does for NMAP for listing all the tools that people like to use. But Tools Watch is something similar. In 2014, obviously, the OWASP Z attack proxy, um, our cross-exploit framework, and also um, the, uh, the OWTF, uh, or the OTF project, was uh, nominated and then won. So 2015 just came out, like literally last week. So um, uh, Zap was the, the winner of that, which was great. Again, a lot of other great tools. I'm, I'm friendly with the Beef guys over in Italy. Uh, Burp Suite, everybody knows what Burp is. Again, this is AppSec, right? So most of these tools should be not foreign to you. Uh, if they are, take a look at this. This is where you want to spend some of your time, right? Because these are the ones that you voted for from a community. I think the, the voting population was like 4,000 people, okay? So if you have an idea, if you want to do some training, if you want to do, say, hey, I just worked on some cool stuff and I want to show off a little bit and explain to people how that works, or I want to be educative, or I want to teach a training class, or I'm working on a no-loss project, that's what we want. So please see me, see one of the chat leaders, talk to Don, and just basically say, hey, here's what we want to do. All we're asking for is that it's OWASP related, it's open source, and it's educational. <coughs> if you have some sort of a widget that has a patent behind it, that's fantastic. We want to hear about the method patent. We want to hear about the educational aspect of it. Right? Having a sales pitch of, hey, my, here's my product, here's how much it costs, isn't what OWASP is about, right? So that's really just not the right venue for it. Mm -hmm. uh, but certainly, you, I think you meet people through association, and of course, mm -hmm. things happen. We keep it tactical, keep it practical. Uh, you know, talk to us and submit online. And there is a speaker committee, right? So Robert, uh, Anthony, and, and other folks in the room are part of the speaker committee. This private call and I am, will be monitored by the NSA. And I am not taking my call. Um, so the people that are involved in the speaker <laughs> committee simply meet once a month. <laughs> simply meet once a month, and uh, and they go ahead and do a good job of trying to keep the talks, you know, sort of focused, which I think you'll see tonight. So. Uh, OWASP is not without its needs, um, and what I mean by that is there's lots of ways to get involved, right? Lots of labor that we're asking you for to be involved to help out with projects. Sometimes, sometimes that's fun, as our sponsor spoke about tonight. But you know, how to help out is really help improve and raise visibility for software security. So that all sounds good, but a lot of people in New York say, all right, well, show me the money, right? So when we talk about show me the money, I, I'm, I'm proud to say that this year, thanks to some of the people in the room, I was elected to the board again. So I've been on the board of OWASP Foundation worldwide since 2007 took a year off in, in 2014, and then I'm now back on the board for the next two years. And we drove through a conversation this year about strategic goals for the organization, putting our money where our mouth is. And I'm pretty vocal with having people do what they say they're gonna do. Um, as we looked at the different areas we wanted to spend our time for the folks in the back, relative to education and training, outreach, particularly to the developer communities, right? Maturing the OWASP projects platform, which we'll talk about, and also the community and chapter support, we approved $995,000. We're gonna spend almost a million dollars this year on making that happen, right? So when you look at this and you go, hey, I do training, or hey, I do this, or hey, I do whatever. Well, that's awesome, because we got some money to, to kind of throw at that problem, right? So we wanna to talk to the people and engage directly with how can we help OWASP be better, and OWASP has funds to go ahead and appropriate those, those services, okay? The most current one that uh, everyone likes is who likes the OWASP website? Hands raised? No one raises their hands. So that website sucks, right? The wiki is really difficult to, na to manage, uh, and it's really difficult to figure out who you are as a user and where you can find stuff. There's over 8,000 pages, right? A lot of great content and material that's there by many people in the room, but the navigation's horrible. So for $30,000, we allocated an RFP that's on the street today. It's been on the street now for over a month, over two months now, and it ends, I think, end of next month, I want to say. Uh, but basically, the website design product, the 30 grand is allocated to a third party, to come in and do an analysis. Don't even do any work, just do an analysis of all the workflows. And then once that's done, a recommendation as to the next step. So there's some, some, there's some criteria in the RFP, but take a look at it. And then from there, there's additional monies allocated to upgrade the infrastructure and upgrade the organization sort of public presence. That's a huge, huge investment that we have really have never done before. So we need the professionals and we need the commercial support to say we're gonna step in and help out. So again, we're putting our money where our mouth is. 
If you like to travel, there's no probably better place to come to AppSec EU this year than in Rome. Uh, Italy's going to be a fantastic conference. There's a lot of great speakers lined up from all over the world. And who doesn't want to bring their family, friends, or spouse, or significant other to Rome, right? It's a great place to go. So it's a good opportunity to submit a talk. And if you get picked, and you can be on stage talking about your stuff. But more importantly, it's really useful to kind of ha go ahead and meet those that demographic of folks. And then, of course, we have local stuff, local stuff here in New York City, right? I'm, I'm probably familiar. I've seen a lot of friendly faces tonight. But, you know, hope's coming up every two years. So we, we have a presence there, right? We have a presence there. We do, we do an event at, a, at Hope. We do a party at Hope. So we, we want you to be a part of that and help raise visibility to the community that comes into New York City. We also now have done this event, or this event is, is in progress in a big way. This is the New York Metropolitan Cybersecurity Community. In summary, we did a, like a soprano sit down with all the different presidents of all the different associations and said, hey, cybersecurity month is October. Why don't we go ahead and do one event, one conference as, as a group? So if you think about herding cats as volunteers is hard, Try herding cats of different species of cats, meaning different associations. We have about 12 different associations, and right now it's open to any other association that wants to plug in. And what's happening is those, that group is going to have one big conference. The conference will probably be, uh, it's the third year, by the way. This will be the third year. Um, and that conference will be really focused, and call for papers will go out, and all that other good stuff. So lots of stuff happening just around New York City. After that event, we have the AppSec conference. For those who around the block in 2013, <coughs> I did a big event here in the city at the Millennia Hotel. Uh, a lot of help from people in the room, but the next one for EPSEC USA is going to be in DC, sort of the belly of the, be belly of the beast in an election year. I think we'll have lots to talk about down there from privacy and security, which should be fun. So a good opportunity for us as a group to work on stuff and promote. I want to see our chapter, because we do have some, some positive cash flow from our sponsorship. I want to see us be able to put everybody here on trains, go down as a group, right? Work on the opportunity to bring the New York crew down to DC and say, hey, these are the type of talks we want to have. I want to highlight that. So if you want to test out your talk, here's the you know it's the time to do it. It's probably our next meeting and, and things from there. If this is your first meeting, the first time you've been to OWASP meeting. Quick show of hands, first time. Look around, right? So these are the newbies, right? These are the virgins in our in our group, right? Which is great. Thank you for coming. Um, we're open, right? It's an open group. So we appreciate your annual donation of fifty dollars. That's wonderful. It helps you like in elections and vote and such. But the reality of it is, is that we're open to anybody. Right? Anybody can come in here and do whatever they want. At the same time, we self-police, right? So if someone's a jerk off, it's your job to take that person outside and knock them around, right? Because we don't want to have that activity here as a security community. Uh, but you know, if you're looking for free training education, there's thousands of hours of online content currently available at OWASP.org. Look at the video link. Then lastly, there's a sister organization I do a lot of work for with Howard Schmidt, which is uh, free training from SafeCode. So SafeCode has free training available that's been put together by lots of organizations, including members of OWASP. Uh, available on demand and certainly meets a lot of requirements to that. One of the last things on my list is the OWASP Mentor Project. For the new guys in the room, this might be perfect. Uh, we're trying our best to start a project which will map mentors and mentees together. The goal is to try to leverage education and leverage sort of your knowledge and help people sort of drive through the conversation. Bev Corvin and Brian and a few others have asked to step up to help out here. Um, so if you have an interest in this, please step up and be a part of it. We also had a short survey, about 22 people really wanted to be part of it, and they're sort of our, our alpha testers. Um, so again, we want to try and drive this more. We don't know what we're doing. We're trying to make it useful. We're trying to make it educational. So Bev's here, Brian's here, good opportunity to talk to, to Dawn and get pointed in the right direction and see how you might want to use this for, for your career growth. Um, last thing on our list here, of course, is our internal communication on our website. Uh, the discussion groups are not used, um, so we can shut them off. But more importantly, if you have job postings, you know, quick show of hands, who's, who's hiring in this room? Who's hiring? Okay, great, because you might be sitting next to a coworker, you're probably not gonna say you're looking for a job, <laughs> but the reality of it is the discussion group is a great place for you to post your job listings for free in this location to a targeted demographic of about 2,600 AppSec apps. Right, so use that as, as for, for what it's worth. Um, and of course, the speaker feedback form. So tonight, it's really important for us to be better every time, right, constantly improve. So before you leave, take two minutes, Scratch off you know, what you think was good or bad about the talks and drop it off to Dawn. And if you haven't already done that, I think there's a 50-50 going on over there for some awesome scotch and some, some rum, which is great, and probably some cash on the 50-50. I think we'll have a good, a good time and a good night. But that's all I have. So we're going to take a quick five-minute break, refuel, reload, uh, and then we're going to kick off Dan Cornell. So thanks and have a great night. Thanks, Tom.